We're building man-made beaver dams to try to replicate some of the benefits that natural beaver dams produce. They pull up water, create vegetation that's important for a number of wildlife species. We're doing these beaver dam analogs at Red Canyon Ranch because we can test out some of these ideas, try new things, work out the kinks, and share what we've learned with other ranchers and land managers. Beaver dam analogs are really cool. They're low tech and relatively low cost uh, stream restoration tools. And they are meant to mimic a beaver dam. Unfortunately, with a lot of human land use practices um, and removal of beavers, we don't see many beaver in this area anymore in the, in the Western US and they're, they're definitely missed. <laughs> and so we put them in by you know, uh, pounding wooden fence posts into the stream bed and then weaving willow and packing uh, sediment behind them. And you know, we, we try really hard to be as good as beavers. So right now, when we see the really high flows in spring as, you know, as we're seeing the snow melt come through, a lot of that water is just coming right down the stream and not a lot of it is recharging into local groundwater. By slowing down the water with these beaver dam analogs, we're hoping that we'll see more shallow groundwater recharge that will sustain stream flows throughout the season. So by the end of the summer, we still have you know, healthy flowing streams. Now that the BDA is in, it's back, been able to back up water, uh, spread water out across this uh, kind of inset floodplain area. Over time, uh, the BDA really helped to reduce erosion in this spot and deposit sediment right behind it. And so these are a really low impact way to help with restoration. BDAs are really a great way to just uh, kind of help the stream do what it should do. That's in nature's interest, but really that's also in our best interest too. 